This is the 9090 supported left hip shift with respiratory left FAIR. So we're set up in a 9090 position here with the foam roller between the knees. You could use anything, uh, you know, a foam roller, but anything that's about four to six inches in diameter will do. So 90 degree angle at the hips, 90 degree angle at the knees, feet flat on the wall here. So we're going to start off with a normal sort of hip lift. So Peter's going to inhale through the nose, and then when he exhales, he's going to dig his heels down into the wall. So raising his knees about an inch or two so that his tailbone is off the ground, but his low back stays flat. Now in this hip lift position, he's going to shift his right knee up and his left knee down. So he's kind of orienting his pelvis to the left there. Now in this position, on inhale, he's going to bring his left foot off the wall and rotate it outwardly towards me. So internally rotating that left lower leg. And then on exhale, he's going to bring it back towards the midline. All right, so that left foot stays off the wall. Exhales, comes out. Or sorry, inhales come out, exhales goes back in. And notice here he's keeping this dorsiflexion here, so those toes are pulled back. We don't want those toes pointed. So inhale, come out towards me. Exhale, come back to the midline there. Good, and he's keeping that hip shift there with the right knee in front of the left, or above the left in this case. So you're only doing this on one side for this exercise, you can relax. Um, just on, you know, with the right foot planted on the wall and this left foot moving on inhale and exhale. Try to make sure that you're maintaining that hip shift so that right knee should stay above the left just an inch or two. Um, and that low back stays on the ground with the tailbone off.